The fourth task is in-depth program analysis and documentation. So say you need to make a change in a large and complex piece of code. We'll take one of our complex programs. Let's open the program control flow analysis. Now what we have is multiple panes with different information that are all synchronized. For example, this is the program control flow pane. It shows the complete control flow of the program, how different paragraphs call each other and external calls as well. In the middle, the flowchart. This pane visually shows the flow inside a single paragraph, down to the single statement and code construct. Let's zoom into a flowchart. Now this is all synchronized. Navigation in one pane changes all the others as well. Let's read row the program control flow. We can see how we got to this paragraph and the different calls this paragraph makes. If we pick one of the performs, we can go to the call paragraph. Let's zoom into the flowchart again. Using the interactive analysis, it's very easy to explore the code and the logic. So we can also navigate to a declaration of a field. And when we do that, we can also document the code and add business names and descriptions to help in the next time we or someone else investigates or changes this code. Now this is synchronized with the object, regardless of code changes. Now let's go back to the adjusted flow chart. The business names can be displayed in the different charts, so they are more understandable without making any code changes or adding comments that overload the source code. When we go to the declarations, we can also look at the different instances or usages of a field. We can also run a quick search, which searches for variables and paragraphs in the program. When we use the interactive analysis, we can also run advanced searches, which is like the code search report, but for a single code search. And we can also run a full code search report. Also, all the business names that we added come part of the application glossary, which is also synchronized, by the way. So if we open the glossary pane,
we can see the business names that we added. Building this glossary also helps developers and analysts and make onboarding new stuff much easier. So there's lo there are lots of other great features in Cobol Analyzer that will help you do your job better and faster. Visit our product page and community site for more information on Cobol Analyzer. Thank you for watching. Thank you.